Hello, this is Blaine Drummond, and I wanted to start a new build series. Let's explore in Minecraft. Because, um, you know, people are always like, oh, let's play. Well, you know, how many friggin' let's plays have you seen in the world? Too many, in my opinion. So I'm like, if I can do that too, right? If everyone else is doing it, except I'll be like edgy and fresh and original and say, crash. Look at that. See that gloriousness? But I say let's explore. Anyways, uh, basically what the series is going to be is I'm going to be looking at some single player worlds and probably quite a few multiplayer servers that have some cool builds on them and just checking them out and exploring. Uh, this one, this is Minecraft Online. Uh, the IP is minecraftonline.com if you want to check it out yourself. It's a pretty cool server. I've, uh, I've actually played on this one a little bit. And it's it's technically a survival server, but it has a creative theme where you're not allowed to grief and stuff like that. There's PvP, just no griefing. And so it really leads to a lot of the really nice builds being done, like, as you know, you can see. Uh, but anyway, this is a spawn. Yeah, we're going to be checking out the spawn here for a while. It, it's really interesting. It's an old, old server. Um, they've had it running for... Uh, they said that, I don't remember, but it's... It's really old. They haven't wiped the map in forever. So the area around spawn that we're in right now that we're exploring is... It's like a historical area where y your builds here have to meet a certain quality. Well, they get removed. Um, but again, it's just a really cool server. It's a great place to explore. So let's check it out. There are lots of buildings around here. Uh, you, you know. But a lot of them are just kind of empty buildings. They're just like... Uh, yeah, see, there's our sign, Minecraft Online. That's the thing, that's a bit of a lag, bug, I don't know. Anyway, let's explore. Uh, yeah, but a lot of these are just, like, tall buildings, so they're kind of empty inside. Uh, but they're still, you know, cool to look at. I like this. Let's check out this house. This looks pretty nice. Bronco skip. But again, yeah, this video is probably just going to focus on looking around the spawn area. And just checking out all the buildings and stuff. Uh, yeah, but again, this is a cool server. I actually found this, so I was looking at the Minecraft map thing. This is one of their, like, example maps. It's really big. And I was like, that is a big map. And then I actually looked at it, and I'm like, there are lots of builds on that. So I got on and started checking out the server, and I'm like, this is actually pretty cool. Uh... Yeah, it's, they have like a whole system of, you know, you know, rails and ponds and stuff that allow people to like fast travel around the server and explore things. Um, my texture pack, you may be thinking some of these textures are really weird. This is actually the texture pack that Fire UK made and uses. Um, it's, like, it's a creative texture pack. It's not made for survival. I use it because it has a lot of really nice blocks in it. You know, because it's a creative texture pack. Um, I think this building is basically just a bunch of empty floors. I think I've been in here before. But yeah, I think it's mostly just a lot of this. But it's pretty cool. It's a big building. I was actually, I was really happy. I got a build in here. Like I said, there's like the whole guarded historical district area. And you have to have really high quality. I actually have a build in here. Which maybe we'll go check that out later. But... For now, let's just keep walking around and exploring stuff. I love it's like the historical zones, like, oh, you have to build nice stuff here. And there's like a cobblestone tower. That's because of the cobble. I think this is actually like historical. It's an old build. This was Riot's first castle built, start of, yeah, 2010. Yeah, so this is an actual like old, you know, historical to the server build. And that tower, um, I'll see if we. I don't know, there's like plugins for like moving up and down floors, like elevators and stuff like that. I've never been able to get them to work, but if it can work, we're going to check that tower out. Because it has like signs at the top, like blank was here. It's pretty cool. So maybe we'll go back over there. But th yeah, this this historical area is a thousand by thousand, so it's a square kilometer of like... Um, quality certified builds just all over the spawn. And th this is 
spot is like kind of their uncoordinated area even. There are a lot of really cool cities and stuff here. And like I said, it's a great server. That doesn't have a lot of traffic on it because they haven't updated the uh, to the latest version of Minecraft in forever. Actually, I have to run an old build of Minecraft to be able to come on the server, but it's totally worth it. It's, again, it's a really cool server. They have some cool stuff. It's a tree of wisdom. It's like, uh, reminds me even like, because it's like fat and short. It's like the fig tree in Pan's Labyrinth. Like you expect a giant toe to jump out of it all of a sudden. They have an inchest in here. The wisdom of solitude. Solitude just makes me think of Skyrim these days, you know. I'm a big Skyrim fan. I've, I think I've put probably like 500 hours into Skyrim. The catacombs. It doesn't open. I can't. I guess we're not checking to check out the catacombs. So the wisdom of solitude and the spark of the phoenix. I wonder what's in the chest. I guess I can open that. Okay, this is funny. Like it's a head. Because of the texture pack, it's a log. See, this is what I'm talking about. There are a lot of like really nice just things around here. Oh, so I just have a lot of lag, I guess. Like these little rooms and stuff, this is just the kind of thing you find all over the server. So, let's keep looking around. Again, this is probably there are tons of cities and locations on the server. So, I, and they're all pretty big, so I'm thinking we're probably going to just be doing, like, one video per area. Like, Spawn's going to be a video, there are a few other places we'll check out, those probably will just be individual videos. So this is pretty cool. I like this area. Shrine of the first non-creator to complete the, the catacombs. Oh, so I'm guessing the catacombs are like a maze. Well, you know, catacomb, of course. Arcanum of ancient knowledge. Restored ruins. Okay, well, you know, maybe we'll have a video where we check out the catacombs. Greenshore Beach. No dumping. Yeah, you know, dumping your you know, like industrial waste in uh, rivers often frowned upon. How do they get these redstone lamps to light up here? That's peculiar. Well, I, I like these hedge. This hedge. Look at it. This is a uh, Robbie's house. I don't actually have a house in spawn. My house is. I do have a house on the server, but it's way, way out there. I was like, I want to build a house somewhere where no one's ever going to go to it. So I can, you know, have privacy, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, my house is way out. Uh, I just had a thought, you know, I'll probably end up just putting, like, links to the server and stuff in the video description. I, I should have thought of that earlier. Hey. I was even going to say, doggy. That's great. Name tags were a great addition to Minecraft. So, Robbie's house. That was nice. I'm guessing this is like a water lane where you put your boats in, but it's, you know, obviously there's no water in it right now, I guess. Route, Mount Craftmore. That probably actually has a name on the server. Skyrise Hotel. Ah, that's a pun. It's clever. So I'm guessing people like actually stay in here. That's interesting. That's another nice thing about the server is they have like no grief griefing. They also have no fire spread and no creeper explosions. All right, creepers will still damage you, but they won't break blocks, which is great. I personally I hate it when creepers destroy something you're actually working on. This is a nice hotel actually. It has a skeleton. A little bit of lag. No more skeleton. 
you know, I guess it's just a dark room in here. Is this supposed to be like a piano? That would sort of make sense, but I would have done like right here. I would have done that white to kind of get the sense of the keys. I'm going to say it's a piano. You know, it's a restaurant and a lounge and hotel. It's, it's where you put piano, right? Courtyard and swimming pool. This is a really nice hotel, actually. I like it. I think this is diamond on my texture. I don't know. Again, I have no idea. I'm pretty sure that's a diamond. Again, creative texture pack. This is really nice. And I guess, I guess that's the pool. So, sweet. I am not sure I'm going to check out every single floor of the building. So I imagine there's they're just pretty similar to what we've already seen, but that's a nice hotel. Let's keep looking around. This up here looks interesting. This, uh, I guess this is where this water path is supposed to lead. The one that isn't filled. Blacksmith is what that sign said. I guess it's some sort of just generic fortress-ish building. Again, there's not, over in this area, there's not a whole lot that I've seen exploring. But, I don't know, maybe we can find out if there's actually a mountain to the... A name to this mount, Craftmore or whatever, like an official name. And, like I said earlier, they have rail lines that go all over the server. So I'm guessing this is some sort of terminal form. I don't see a sign anywhere, so... I guess it doesn't have an official name. Let's just go with Mount Craftmore. And look, you can see that building in the distance, it's really tall. I think it goes up like the, the extended height limit. And again, there are, there are a bunch of signs on, on the roof that are all like, oh, Blank was here. It's pretty cool. You know, we can probably just here do that. Not have to walk all the way back to the other side of the city. I don't know if I was, you were supposed to see that's probably like secrets and stuff that I just gave away. If so, oops. I like this sandstone building over here. It's one of the first things that caught my eye for some reason when I joined this server. Is this sandstone building. But, like I said earlier, I actually have a build here, which I think is kind of cool. Because you, you, you do have to meet like a quality standard to build here. Uh, PvP in here is a really stupid idea. Probably because people accidentally break the torches. I had a friend, I was like, yeah, you should check out the server. And he, he gets on here, and I swear, like, the only really rule on the server is you don't break blocks that... You don't break blocks that other people, uh, place. Like, the no griefing thing. It's like, the only rule on the server, I, I invite a friend on here who gets banned in, like, five minutes. It was pretty funny, actually. I, I got a laugh out of it. I have no idea what that block is supposed to be. It's an ice building. White wool. Diamond per stack, huh? It's expensive. Well, actually, is it really? Nah. There are a lot of, like, windy tower buildings. Like, there's that helix building when we were over there. There's another one over there. Like, when I tried to build my building, I was going to put it over around here originally. It just wasn't going to fit. So, I, I put it way over here, in the direction we're going, actually, so... We'll check that out, I guess. Oh, I kind of like this forest. And the, it was a dark and stormy night, and it feels like that, doesn't it? Or if you've ever seen in The Name of the King, which is possibly one of the worst movies ever made, featuring some terrible performances by actors who are actually usually decent actors, like, uh, was it Jason Statham is the guy's name? I think that's what he's, his name is. He was in that movie. He was the horrible, just a horrible performance. I mean, relative to the other actors there, was he, his performance was fantastic. But, um, yeah, it was just so bad. But anyway, they had like a forest and just like this scene where like the stereotypical elfish or forest people fall from vines in the trees and like, we hate you humans and your wars and we're peaceful and good and 
all things people are supposed to be, but humans aren't because you're bad. And, oh, man, that is really clever. That never occurred to me. Huh, it's like a, see, it's like a holder. Anyway, safe house. I actually stayed in there once when I was building my building. Ah. What was that? I'm, I'm missing. I got hit by something earlier and lag was kicking in. Wow, this lag is... Whew, latency. Packet loss, whatever you want to call it. That's something, there's like a million synonyms for that word, aren't there? This is like, you can tell this area is just so much less developed. It was one of the few places where there was actually room for me where I could make my building. It's kind of nice. Oh my god, what is going on? I almost felt bad because I put it right in front of that pixel art. So this is the one I built here. And uh, it's not loading properly, I guess. Probably something to do with the fact that I'm just lagging like crazy. And hitting it's not helping anything. No floor in here. It's just nice. Looks cool, though. This building here is kind of cool, though. See, I'm guessing that there are mods around here that I'm just not de detecting. Like this skeleton. We'll kill them. Uh, yeah, this is the wall that you can see. You know, this this is a wall. This. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you can see that for yourself. But anyway, this wall. This head, this is like the walled off high quality zone. This is the wall that actually goes around it. It's uh, really big. I wonder if we can just get up on top of there and maybe use that to explore a little. Again, there are lots of other places on the server with like dedicated exploration networks we'll check out in later videos. But yeah, there's that pixel art over there and it's like, I'll just put a building in front of it so no one can see it. You know, that was a uh, very good etiquette, I think. You know, don't judge. <laughs> yeah, there are like wastelands out here of like cobblestone buildings. It's kind of funny. I don't know. I there are a lot of people complain about cobblestone. I'm probably one of them sometimes. There are times though when cobblestone is an appropriate block to build with. You know, if you use it as an accent and not as uh, what you rely on, it's it's not bad. It really isn't a bad block. Will that fall kill me? Probably. Oh, you know, there's actually some cool stuff over here, though, so we can maybe check it out. Again, they have these rail lines. You can see them from the server map. They just go all over the place. They yeah, say so there's so many buildings out near the spawn walls. Look at this little tower out here. Actually, it looks like there's just a whole town over there. Maybe we'll check that out in a later video. Again, this is supposed to be like the dedicated spawn video there are a lot of, again I'll, there are tons of places on here I'll probably do like a video per area that building looks like it's been, it's been griefed what's going on yeah so I guess there's like a whole town with castle and everything that's pretty cool I didn't even know this was here let's explore well we're exploring I wonder if I could just jump off and go over there I mean you know, at this point, spawn, I'm probably not going to do the whole thing. Right? Yeah, let's go check it out. We're exploring. Let's, let's actually explore, not just follow, like, a scripted path. We are walking. We are walking. There's, like, a giant statue of, like, a saint or something over there. It's pretty cool. But, uh, we'll check that out later. Oh, I like this combination of, like, the oak. Oak. That's his spruce, isn't it? It's kind of hard to tell because it's against the birch, I guess. This is nice, though. I have never, never seen this before. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a pickaxe, judging by that one over there. Oh, wow. This is really nice. No interiors, really, but I can forgive that. Especially since this is survival and these people actually had to, you know, gather the materials and stuff to do this. 
You know, especially considering it's survival, there's some really impressive builds on this server. Again, and uh, you have to gather all the materials by hand. It's like you can't shortcut it. Even though there are people who've made like big generators and stuff. Like I have a cow spawning sp cow farm buried at my house that I use to get leather for bookcases and stuff. And there are people who do that just about every block and item in the game. Wow, so this is nice. I don't know if I guess none of these really have interiors. This might be new. I don't know. Interiors are overrated anyways, right? Let's go check out this castle, though. I guess the village is more, really more like just glorified scenery for the castle. <laughs> you know, it actually doesn't look like even the castle is entirely finished yet. So maybe the town's just not done. I love this, this creative, this texture pack turns wood into gravel. I guess that's probably for building paths, wouldn't that would make sense? Yeah, it's not going there. There's an iron golem. Alright, these look really cool in this texture pack though, look at that. The visor and everything. Throne room. Hey, it's a headless zombie. Zombies! <laughs> This is like a fighting uh, ring. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. There's chickens in it. Maybe they're having cockfights, I guess. That's illegal. That's racist. Oh. It's like throne room. I don't see any throne. I was looking the wrong way. I'm dumb. I wonder who this is. This is a really cool build. Uh. Yeah, we'll probably be wrapping it up pretty quick here, because this is, what, 20 minutes long-ish? And see, this is what I mean, you know, cobblestone isn't always a terrible thing. I use it as an accent a lot, because it's dark. Darker than, you just don't, like, smooth stone. It makes a nice contrast if you use it properly. But then, you know, there always, it gets hate, because people are like, oh, I'll just make a building out of nothing but cobblestone. And it, it, it looks bad. Like a mossy cobble, one of those blocks, it, it's a cool looking block. In large quantities, it looks terrible. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna wrap this video up. Uh, anyway, this is the first episode of Let's Explore. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing lots of these. Because, you know, I'm exploring anyway. I, it's like my dream is exploring. If I could have lived in like the 1400s, I would have been so happy. But, uh, you know, alas, I don't. I live in the early 2000s, and that means I get to explore Minecraft, which probably has you know quite a lot more to explore, actually. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe if you want to see more like it. Uh, like and comment if you care to. It always helps a lot. And thanks for watching. Have a nice